my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got no juice to in the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come for the win, can't take another deal. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Welcome back, everybody, to m t Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. We're just about set for a kickoff as we resume action in the second quarter. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And Ballantyne going to sit on this one. That'll be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. On first and ten, Darnold. Darnold, he lost the football. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Give him three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. So we come upon halftime with nine points. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Jets three. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up. First and 10 at the 40. Here's Huntley over the middle complete. That's Andrews. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Here's Snead as they run the jet sweep. Before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 28 yards there and give him the first down. I think the 
reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. On a jet sweep, this is Bryant. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself... advantage. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. And they'll try to run it in with Dobbins. 
And he's going to go down right at the line of scrimmage. The defense left him with nowhere to go, and the try for two is denied. I feel like we're going to see more and more of this continue to flow into the NFL game, and that is the quarterback run game. Not successful here going for two, but it's not something that people shy away from totally anymore either. In particular, do you think more so around the goal line? I think so. Anytime a short yardage, anytime you can go ahead and keep the ball in the hands of the quarterback who's athletic, you go ahead and do that rather than risk a handoff or a pitch. They just couldn't get it done there, though. Two-point try fails. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At their own 34-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They'll start on the ground with Gore. Room here to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first down, Darnold. Darnold, he lost the football. Darnold on the keeper. Fumble on the play. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Throwing again on second down. Darnold. And he's got this down to the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So that'll back him up five. Still first down. So...